another full setting weekend of college football is coming up Saturday. <laughs> First of all, I know this isn't about anything about that, and it's about, about the picks in this video, but I have to congratulate my Sooners. <laughs> Way to go, guys. It's always great to beat the Horns. It's always great to beat those guys in Dallas. What an experience that was. Uh, the first time I'd seen them win in the Cotton Bowl uh, as, as, a, as a fan. I, I went last year when they lost. But first year going as a fan, and they won. But as far as the picks are concerned, there's going to be a lot of exciting football games in the Big 12 this weekend. Separation Saturday is uh, upon us. Find out what I mean as far as the Big 12 and around the country. Coming up next, this is the College Football Picks Show. Alrighty then, everybody. Welcome back to the College Football Picks Show, only right here on Boomer Sooner 1982. And as we do always, we start in, in my opinion, the best conference. And, uh, OU, can you tell what conference that is? Well, if, get your omelets ready, get your eggs ready, because the 11 a.m. games are a little exciting. A team that's waiting to get punched their ticket with only two losses, West Virginia in Morgantown, will host the Baylor Bears, fourth ranked in the nation. That'll happen on Fox Sports 1. I'm going to pick Baylor, but this one might be a little closer than the experts think. They got nicked against TCU. They could have easily lost that game. Now they go on the road, miles and miles away from Waco. Wild things happen there. You never know what happens. But then again, in Norman, there was some RJP run that was born that game in Norman. So you never know. Speaking of Norman, the Sooners are fi my Sooners are finally back in Norman as the 14th ranked Kansas State Wildcats are in Norman for homecoming as number 14 Kansas State is at number 11 Oklahoma on ESPN. I'm sticking with my Sooners. They're, they're going to figure some things out. I, I, I'm still going to say pride to the true fact that Stoops doesn't lose very many times here in Norman. Plus, I think that the game they might lose will be Baylor. It won't be against Kansas State. But it'll take tough effort from them. The 2:30 game is uh, Kansas in Lubbock at Texas Tech. I'm going to pick the Red Raiders. This is a game that Texas Tech should win uh, if they're going to go to a bowl or if anything is going to happen there. If they want to be better than Kansas, they got to prove it. And I think that they will. Um, in, since the game is in, love it. Also, south of the Red River, there's another one. As 15th ranked Oklahoma State takes their Oklahoma pride downtown, Charlie Brown, to Fort Worth, Texas, at 3 o'clock on Fox Sports 1. I'm going to stick with TCU. They don't lose at home very often. They do not want to lose back-to-back -back ball games. They don't do that very often. I think that TCU is going to bounce back. And uh, by the way, that will only be Oklahoma State's second loss of the season. The other loss was the number one Florida State. And the late nighter against, at least in Big 12 country, Iowa State will be in Austin as Texas tries to bounce back on the Longhorn Network at Texas. I'm going to go with Texas at the 7 o'clock game on Longhorn Network. Tuesday or Tuesday night earlier this week, you had Louisiana Lafayette at Texas State on ESPN. I went with Texas State in this matchup. Tonight, on Thursday night, there are two sets of college football games. Virginia Tech is at Pitt on ESPN. I'm going to go with Virginia Tech. Uh, I, I think the Beamer Ball, they're going to block a punt. They're going to do something phenomenal in this ball game to make you to make you think that they're still alive. And finally, at the 9 o'clock tip, 
late night tonight on the Pac-12 Network, our old friend, Thompson. That's right. Charles Thompson, who used to be at Oklahoma, his son, his son Paul, his son is at Utah and uh, played very well in that matchup a few weekends ago. Now he'll try to take the 23th Utah's Utes into Oregon State and win. I think that they do. Uh, it's been a while since they've been ranked this high. I, I think that they use the momentum. I think that maybe if they were playing Oregon or someone with a little bit of a better record, they might lose that one. But I think that since it's since it is Utah and uh, Oregon State and not Oregon, I think that they'll somehow find a way to squeak by this thing. Tomorrow night, there's a set of two games. Temple is at Houston on the ESPNU. I'm going to stick out with Houston. I've been high on the Houston bandwagon. They love to sling that thing around. And I think that they're just going to be a little bit better than Temple. And in California, in, in Las Vegas at 8 o'clock p.m. on CBS Network, Fresno State will be at UNLV on CBS Network. I'm going to go with the roadie on this with Fresno State. The Saturday slate is pretty big, as it always is in college football times. And it starts off with one that's pretty interesting. South Florida will be up the road at Tulsa on ESPN News at 11 a.m. I'm going to stick with Tulsa. Uh, another game from that new American conference will be Tulane at Central Florida on ESPNU. I'm going to stick with Central Florida. Syracuse will be at Wake Forest on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Wake. Iowa will be at Maryland on ESPN2. I'm going to go with Maryland. Forum will be at South Carolina on the SEC Network. Coach Spurrier, that one's Forum, right? I think so. And then finally, Old Purdue will be at Michigan on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to go, I mean, uh, Minnesota, Minnesota, don't you know? Sorry, Purdue and Minnesota. I'm going to go with Minnesota. 1130, Virginia will be at Duke on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with the Dukies. This team won the division last year. Uh, they got to, kind of to, off to a rocky start, but you, you, you know they were off to a rocky start last year. And look what happened. 11 a.m. game, Arkin, or the 11, 1 p.m. games, Arkin will be at Ohio on ESPN3. I'm going to go with Ohio. And uh, Bowling Green and uh, Western Michigan face off. In more, uh, Western Michigan will be at Bowling Green on ESPN3. I'm going to get stick with Bowling Green. The 2 o'clock games, Eastern Michigan will be at Massachusetts on ESPN3. I'm going to go with Eastern Michigan. And Appalachian State will be at Troy on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Troy. The, the mid games, the 2.30 games, the highlighted games that everybody's going to want to watch. Here's one. Tex 21, 21st ranked Texas A&M makes their first trip back to Alabama. 7th ranked Alabama since Johnny Football beat him two years ago on CBS. I'm going to stick with Alabama. I, I think that they were kind of overlooking this this game a little bit last year, last weekend. If you watched my pre-show with them in Arkansas, I picked Arkansas because I thought Alabama might be overlooking them a little bit. Uh, Alabama didn't end up winning that game. Hats out to Alabama. But uh, I think Alabama wins this weekend too pretty easily. Michigan State will be at Indiana on ESPN. I'm going to stick with Michigan State. Rutgers will be at 13th ranked Ohio State on the ABC ESPN2 regional uh, regional market. I'm going to stick with Ohio State. 24th ranked Clemson will be at Boston College on ESPNU. I'm going to stick with Clemson. Uh, the mirror game for ABC ESPN2 is UCLA at Cal. I'm going to stick with Cal. Army, and we'll be at Kent State on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Army. Ball State will be at Central Michigan on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Central Michigan. North Carolina State will be at Louisville on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Louisville. And finally, the 2.30 games end on CBS Network with Cincinnati at SMAU. I'm going to stick with Cincinnati. There are two 3 o'clockers. San Jose State is at Wyoming on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Wyoming. And get this one. Upset alert. Number 10th ranked Georgia will be at Arkansas on the SEC Network. This is for you, Michael. 
They came so close last year to last week into beating out Alabama. Oh, so close. Georgia, not as good as Alabama. I'm going to pick Arkansas in Fayetteville in the upset. Come on, Arkansas. You can get at least one win, right? Moving right along to the 4 p.m. games. New Mexico State will be at Idaho on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with Idaho. And Miami of Ohio will be at Northern Illinois. I'm going to stick with UNI. The 5 o'clocker on the Pac-12 network, Colorado will be at USC. 22nd ranked USC. I'm going to stick with USC. The 6 o'clock gamers, Tennessee, a team that was in Norman a few weeks ago, will be at third ranked Ole Miss on ESPN. I'm going to stick with Ole Miss. Uh, Missouri and Florida will be on ESPN2. I'm going to stick with Florida. Utah State and Colorado State will be on CBS Network. I'm going to stick with Colorado State. And from the ACC on ESPNU, Georgia Tech at North Carolina. I'm going to stick with Georgia Tech. 6.30 p.m. games. There are a tri-set of these. Like, number 9th ranked, 19th ranked, Nebraska will be in Chicago at Northwestern on, ES, on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to stick with Nebraska. Georgia State will be at South Alabama on ESPN3. I'm going to stick with South Alabama. And Kentucky will be at LSU on the SEC Network. I think the third Stoops brother, I think he's doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job there in Kentucky, at Kentucky. Mark. But Marky Mark. At the crazy house. That Les built in Tiger Stadium, a night game. Lessie doesn't lose there very much. I'm going to pick LSU. But Kentucky might be them closer than the experts think. Fast forward your clocks to 7 p.m. where there will be two games on ABC. Florida State will be tested once again. This might be their greatest test. Until they probably face Clemson again or whoever they will face in the ACC championships. Because number 5th ranked Notre Dame, the Guiding Irish, the Golden Domers are at Florida State on the ABC. There's been a lot of frustration on going along Tallahassee these last few weeks. Eligible or not eligible, Jameis Winston and all. A former ineligible quarterback for Notre Dame. Goes in to Florida State and wins. Woohoo! Congratulations to the Golden Dumbers. You're back, baby. <laughs> Washington will be at ninth ranked Oregon on Fox Sports 1. I'm, I'm going to go with Oregon. 10 15 games. ESPN 2 will have Nevada at Brigham Young. I'm going to go with BYU. And finally, the 9 30 sets. Number 23rd ranked Stanford will be at 17th ranked Arizona State on ESPN. I'm going to go with Arizona State, the Sun Devils. And finally, Hawaii at San Diego State on CBS Network. I'm going to go with San Diego State. As always, these are my picks. Don't go to Las Vegas with these. Um, this is just fun for me because I enjoy doing it. Secondly, I appreciate all the people that kept their uh, opinions to themselves last weekend. Really appreciate that. Please keep on doing that because I don't go on y'all's uh, webcasts and type in uh, nasty stuff. And finally, Facebookers. You find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Tweeters, tweet me up or follow me at SoonerFanOK. Okay. As always, thanks for watching everyone and enjoy another fun weekend of college football. Thanks for watching and as always, have fun guys. Keep it real. See y'all next week.